Hi, I am Misha and this is my first time in Feendam. I have never been to Feendam before. I am in front of the station. Uh, you can go here by train from Groningen in about 30 minutes. And I will spend a weekend in this little city with about 27,000 people. And I hope that you will join me on my tour. Let's talk about my expectations briefly. Well, the reason that I traveled to Feendam is simple. I had a voucher for a local hotel. I had never heard of Feendam before. Of course, there are things that I associate with the northeast of the Netherlands in general like plenty of flat and green land, many bicycles and delicious food like cheese and fries. All these are things that are valid for any other town around, however. So I pretty much just got a vague idea of Feindom by checking several maps and Wikipedia. This helped me to highlight a couple of spots for the weekend, namely the museum, the football stadium and Burgerswold Park. You know that first impressions are extremely important for your feelings about the place. I arrived in the south at the borough Wilderfunk. It became clear quickly that this place was and still is dominated by fans. Long and wide channels all over the place, with small brick houses on both sides. This is very personal, but I like this a lot. Maybe the area where I grew up isn't too different. After a few kilometers I arrived at the center with a mini harbor and both the town hall and an old church. I tend to structure things chronologically. Thus a museum is usually a good start to understand a new place. The museum of Feendam is surprisingly big for such a small town. It has got several floors and different sections. The first part is on the colonization of the Fenland. It is remarkable how the area was made usable. The goal of the ancestors was especially to exploit and export peat. The exhibition is a bit old-fashioned but definitely made with love for details. Afterwards it gets a bit tricky. The layout of the house is confusing, so I ended up in two special themed exhibitions, one on a painter and one on Jugendstil or Art Deco in the region. While this is probably interesting for recurring visitors, for me it was all too much of a wild mix. The top floor is dedicated to a potato business as a local production site is one of the biggest ones in the world to produce potato starch. My visit ended with entering a boat in the backyard, an interesting experience due to the very limited size of the ceilings. Let me drop a few words on Feindam city center. In a city of this size, everything is close together, so just a few steps away from the museum, you will find yourself already in the center of the shopping area, which has definitely seen better times. I don't know if the main reason is the aftermath of the COVID pandemic or the domination of online retail, but a lot of shops were empty. Despite the parking lots next to it being quite full, the shopping streets were not. Even a completely newly built block had spaces to rent. Definitely not a good sign. What was more delightful? A small park with a little pond reserved for animals. I haven't seen something like this anywhere else and it gave me a blast of joy. What would be a proper video tour without a stadium? And this is why I came here to the local stadium of Feendam, 
actually a beautiful one and quite big for such a small town. But unfortunately the local team that was playing in the second highest league of the Netherlands for decades went bankrupt in 2011 and ever since there is no more high-class football. But the whole area has become some recreation and sports center for everyone and I will show you some of it in the footage in the next sequence. The Henk Nienhuis Stadium, Henk Nienhuis was a former player and manager for Feindam, is pretty much the anchor of the sports center. My first impression? Amazing, the whole area is super open. Not only could you just step on the pitch of the stadium, you can use many different activity courts and units for free. And you have some lovely details, especially those distinctive benches with mini tiles forming a mosaic. Although it may not look like it, I am still within the city borders and I am right inside the Burgerswald. Uh, this is a recreation park here with um, a nice lake and the opportunity to do some water sports and there are already uh, many runners to run away on a sunny Sunday morning. And I will follow the banks of this lake and I will check out the Burgerswald together with you. I was lucky to visit the last destination when the sun decided to stop by. The Burgerswald Park is a bit outside of the center. It contains several small lakes, many trees and several paths. Cars are not allowed and thus many people use it for a walk or for cycling. The largest lake contains a water ski installation and even a small beach. On this weekend in late March it was too cold for sunbathing or water sports, however. Yeah, this is it. That was the final stop of this tour and I think a really beautiful one. I really recommend you to come and check out the Burgerswald if you have the opportunity to. And otherwise I would like to thank you for watching this episode and I hope to see you soon on another tour. Take care. Cheers.